Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be filming my first ever makeup tutorial. What I decided to film today was my go-to makeup look. Um, this is something that I always do when I need to be out of the door and when I don't have a thousand hours to redo my makeup. So if you want to know how to recreate this look or what products I use, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I always do are my eyebrows. Here I'm just taking my dip brow pomade in chocolate and my small angled brush to just fill in my eyebrows. I always do my eyebrows before my foundation um, just so they can last longer throughout the night. Here I'm taking a spoolie brush to just feather out my eyebrows. Here I'm just taking my Age Rewind Concealer in Medium and a square flat brush to clean up my eyebrows. I don't know where exactly the square flat brush is from because it has no name and I don't remember where I bought it from. After my eyebrows are all cleaned up, I'm going to be taking this Control Freak Eyebrow Gel by NYX and this is going to be keeping the eyebrows in place. To hydrate my skin before foundation, I'm going to be taking this Prep and Prime Fix Plus and spraying it all over and just letting it dry. To hydrate my lips, I'm going to be taking this organic lip balm and just letting it sit on my lips while I do the rest of my face. To prime my face before foundation, I'm going to be taking the Hangover Primer by Too Faced. This smells so good because it is infused with coconut water. Um, first, I'm rubbing it in and then I'm patting it because it does get tacky, which is really good for the foundation so it can stick on and last longer. This is one of my favorite foundations. It's already my third bottle. But it's more on the dewy side and it's medium and full coverage so it's buildable. It's really nice and I'm going to be blending it in with the Real Technique sponge. This sponge is so much more better than the Beauty Blender in my opinion and it's so much more cheaper. I'm going to be taking this concealer brush with a little bit of foundation to clean up on the top of my eyebrows because I had concealer on them before and if you take a flash photo you're going to see the concealer and it's going to be so much more lighter than your foundation so it's better to just blend everything out. I'm going to be taking the Age Rewind Concealer to cover up under my eyes and on my eyelids. I'm going to be taking my translucent powder and baking under my eyes, on my eyelids, around my nose, um, on my forehead, between my eyebrows and on the sides of my mouth and my chin. Those are the places that I crease the most, so um, those are the only places that I bake, and the rest I'm going to be setting it with the loose powder. Grabbing this highlight stick, I'm going to be putting the product on my ring finger, and the only reason why I do this is because my ring finger warms up the product, and it easily melts onto my skin, and it just gives me a lot more of a natural look. Taking this brush does not have a name and my Hula Bronzer, I'm going to be contouring my face.
is if we like clothes. This is my favorite and most important brush of my entire collection of makeup and brushes. Um, I'm so serious about nose contouring. Like, I will take five hours contouring my nose until it's perfect. Taking a small shader brush and the highlight stick, I'm going to be highlighting my nose. Taking Champagne Pop by Becca and a fan brush, I'm going to be going over that highlight that I had earlier to intensify it. Back to the small shader brush and champagne pop, I'm going to be taking this to intensify my nose highlight. With this clean brush, I'm going to be blending out and going over my highlight. Here I was saying this is my stuff because I've been using this since day one. I've hit pan on it super hard. You can't really tell because it's the same color as the powder. But yeah, and then I'm going to be taking a clean brush and kind of blending it out more. This isn't a blush anyways, it's a bronzer, which is pretty funny that I use it as a blush. And then I'm going to be curling my lashes before mascara and I count to 10 on each eye. This is my favorite drugstore mascara. I've been using it since 1989 and this is already my thousandth bottle. The only reason why I'm using the sample size is because I actually like it way more better than the actual bottle. I have the actual bottle and I hate it. And this little mascara works so much more better. This lash glue is pretty similar to the House of Lashes glue. You only have to wait 10 seconds for it to dry instead of 30. And it has vitamins in it, which is really good. And you can find it at the drugstores for a really cheap price. I swear by these makeup remover wipes, they are the best ones out there. I highly recommend them. Taking this lip liner in World by MAC, I'm going to be outlining my lips and making them appear a little bit more fuller. I do draw over my cupid's bow just to make my top lips look thicker because they're really thin. Taking this setting spray, I'm going to be setting my whole face with it, and that is my final step. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!